Hello, I'm an INFP and this is my reaction to uh, 7 surprising facts you should know about mediators, which are INFPs, according to this website I've linked in the description. So, here we go. Number 1. 61% of mediators said they often feel overwhelmed by other people's problems. I somewhat disagree, because I really do like to listen to other people and them talking about their problems often is the first step to solving their problems. So I'm very happy that I can help them in that aspect. And maybe I can even help them to change their views on it, that maybe it isn't as big a problem as they thought it is. So I do not really get overwhelmed, no. Number two. 70% of mediators said they'd like to change many things about their physical appearance. I do agree because INFPs, we have this weird um, perfectionist mindset when it comes to art. And maybe I just speak for myself, but I think INFPs view beauty and aesthetics as an art form. Like when we, when we see something really beautiful, it's like being spellbound by its perfection. And sometimes we imagine ourselves of being like uh, super perfectly good looking or whatever. And here's the catch. Once you, once you are able to accept yourself the way you are, then things start to work out for yourself. And I think it's okay to, to change a few things like, like braces or, um, I don't know, hair transplant or whatever, like something that, um, that isn't too invasive, but like changing your whole appearance, like grinding down bones, changing your nose, pumping up your lips like, like crazy and whatever, and putting up tons and tons of makeup. I do not like that. I don't judge it, but I do not like it myself because it's not authentic. Uh, I very much do prefer no makeup, no high heels, no red dress, no red lipstick, no red um, fingernails or whatever. Just completely blank, natural, sporty clothes. Um, I like that. Number three. 70% of mediators said they have created personal budgets but have never stuck to one. <laughs> I don't think only INFPs do that. Um, I think it's a very human thing to do. Uh, INFPs don't like to stick to, uh, to a certain set of rules or a fixed plan because things can change at any time and you never know what's going to happen. So why limit yourself like that? Number four. 92% of mediators said they often feel strong empathy for fictional characters. Yeah, I've met many INFPs that are so into anime and so into some other shows or movies uh, because a good movie or a good show makes you forget that you're watching something fictional and often it's the the whole character development the whole story that maybe the INFP can also identify himself with or see parts of him in in, the, in that character and um, that makes them feel really in touch with them number five 69% of mediators said they find it hard to make up their mind, even about small things like what to eat or where. Hmm. Well, I, I used to be indecisive, uh, but no, I'm not so sure. Uh, no, but I, I definitely can relate to that because often it's like, I don't have many clothes to begin with. And then sometimes I think like, oh, I have nothing to wear and uh, this doesn't look good and this doesn't fit together or whatever. Uh, or when I look into the fridge, the fridge is full of food and I'm like, yeah, I don't know what to eat. Yeah, I think INFPs can be like that, yeah. Number six. 72% of mediators said that in their opinion, modern life is too complicated. Yeah, I think a lot of INFPs have said that and are still going to say it in the future. Uh, for some reason, INFPs do romanticize a lot of um, ideas, like living in a in a nice house in a in the wild vast nature of uh, northern europe or wherever it is um, without thinking of all the all the hardships they will face like um, what about a power shortage what about you have to fix something and whatever um, nfps tend to uh, ignore a lot of real life facts and romanticize their ideals and 
to this point, modern life is too complicated. Yes, like when I see videos or pictures from the 80s when nobody had a phone, I kind of think like, oh, that was a nice time as well. I think I was born in the wrong time. Uh, I think INFPs especially do like older times. Number seven. 58% of mediators said they believe in magic. Never have, never will. I don't uh, deal much with hocus pocus stuff. Uh, I have met several INFPs that are very much into a lot of hocus pocus stuff and uh, do say like they have met mermaids and seen fairies. <laughs> uh, I, I don't relate to that at all. All right, so what is your take on these seven surprising facts you should know about mediators? Uh, what is your opinion? Let me know in the comments and you see me in the next video. Bye-bye.